Senator Pocock. Senator Reynolds. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr Acting Deputy President. Well, it was only yesterday I was here in this chamber uh, remarking on the complete and utter dereliction of responsibility this government has uh, given away in relation to the safety and security of Australians and, as it turns out, to Western Australians, uh, allowing 80 and possibly well over 300 people who have had their visa denied and have been in detention because they have not met uh, character grounds here in Australia. Not only that, they include murderers, rapists, um, serious criminals and, I understand, terrorists as well. So this is not a new issue. This is not a new issue. The government had plenty of warning, and yet the Minister for Home Affairs, the Attorney General, were asleep at the wheel. Uh, except for the immigration minister, who managed to uh, unfurl the red carpet uh, and not even wait to release them uh, for the High Court's decision, but unfurled the red carpet, organised plane tickets, and released over 30 in Western Australia. And we had all of these promises and guarantees that they were going to be secure, safe. But good on the West Australian. Good on the West Australian. They went to the motel on the outskirts of Perth to see this great security around these former detainees. And sure enough, there was not a policeman, a guard or anything. In fact, within a couple of hours they'd managed to source a car and were driving around, driving around Perth doing drugs. Uh, and God knows whatever else they were doing. So much for this government's ability to keep Australians safe. Shame on you. And all West Australians should be so Thank angry at what you have failed to do. Senator